Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn to add rooms to a project. Rooms are annotative objects, they are no real elements. Of course, those tags are not going to be painted on the floor. They are just for annotation and at the end we can create room schedules very quickly. So to start, let's learn how to add rooms. To add a room, we click on the icon at the architecture tab then I just click in an enclosed area surrounded by walls, for example here. Then I press escape. Now let's rename the room. For that I need to hover the room name and tag and double click at that moment. Change to bedroom. And for the tag, when you add the room for the first time it always shows one, room number one. In this case it's here 24. Why? because this is an old project that I had already added rooms there and then I delete them just to make this tutorial. And the program just continues counting from where I was before. Anyway, that's okay, we can change this to 1 and consequently the next rooms will count as 2, 3, 4, etc. Another way to change the name and numbering is by selecting the room Although to select a room I have to search a bit with the mouse until this box with the crosses highlights. Now it's the moment to click. The room is selected. Then on the properties I can change the values on identity data. And I update on the view. Let's continue to add more rooms here. Activate room again. Then I click for placing the room number 2. I can continue placing rooms all together in a row, because it's quicker. Another one here, kitchen, WC, and then the hall. At the end I rename each of them. Now let's see a different situation. When I add a room in the living room, you can see that because I have openings, all these three sections are considered part of the same room. However, sometimes I want these sections separate. And for that there is a tool called Room Separator. Basically, I draw a line to separate areas that I want to consider different rooms. I make a line to divide the dining and the living room and another one to separate it from the stairs. It's very simple as you can see. Then I can use the room command again and this time I am able to add different rooms in the three places. Now let's look at the room data. Apart from number and name I can add more information, for example a comment if necessary. Let's say I put a comment on the kitchen explaining that it has different areas. When you finish writing it, you have to press enter, otherwise the information is not recorded. Then we can add departments. In small projects like a residential house for an average family, usually they are not really needed. However, for a hospital or a project of a high school, maybe it's important to group specific rooms in specific departments, so we will get things more organized. Let's say I want a kitchen in a specific department, common areas. I insert that name in this blank and press enter. Here, a color was assigned to the room. However, this won't happen if you are doing this for the first time, but I will explain that later. Then I want to add the living room and the dining. I select the living room, hold control, select the dining, then go to the department section and if you click on the arrow, it should be already there. I can also add the laundry to the same department. Then for the bedroom, I create a new department called bedrooms 
at WC Department and also another one for the passage areas, the corridors and the stairs. Now let's learn how to add a legend. Go to the Annotate tab, click on Color Fill Legend and now I can put it, for example, at the side. To edit this, select the legend. You can see the Modified tab is now personalized for Color Fill Legends. I'm going to click on Edit Scheme and here we can change the colors to the ones that we want. Then, if you look at the section at the left, we can decide if we want to define a section by department or name. In this case, we could set a color for each room. And now the legend is displayed by name. Now look at the example here. I hadn't assigned a color scheme before. That's why I don't have colors yet. When you do it for the first time, it says no color scheme assigned to view. You place it on the project and then you get this window where you have to choose rooms. Then click on OK and by default it automatically applies to the department. So it was everything for today. But this time before leaving I want to mention that I just started a page of Patreon for Kelimpla. There you can support this channel to help me keep creating more content here. I would really appreciate that. Even of course, I'm already grateful that you find these videos available and that they are helping you to speed up your knowledge. Without your support, nothing of this would be possible. So, thank you very much for watching. See you next time.